Hey all, good evening. Welcome to Bro Billion Year. Uh, today I'm going to bring you a nice learning video on moving average crossover. A lot of people know about moving average crossovers and it's very, very famous among the trading fraternity. However, uh, as a beginner or, or if you're new or if you are even know where market is moving, but still you're not able to take that step and uh, go that extra mile to make big money, then this video is for you. Now, I have already done a, a simple video on this, but uh, I got a lot of comments where people were telling that they were not able to utilize it. Uh, so I'm bringing this video. Now here you need to understand, always it, it's plain. It's not from me, but from all the trading uh, veterans, trading experts who, who have made the career out of trading. So based on them, and I follow on the footstep, I have already told you that anything about 20 day moving average is a buy, anything about 20 day moving average is a sell. There's a video on Campbell pivots with moving average. You can watch it uh, to, to understand this. Now, this is today's video, right? Now, these are the levels, simple levels based on the price action. I mark these level and just watch this, how price is moving. A gap up comes closer to 20 day moving average, goes up again, go sideways, come closer to 20 day moving average, goes up, comes to 20 day moving average, goes up, take support on 20 day moving average. It's a simple moving average, then goes up. Now, whether you want to use simple moving average or exponential moving average, it does not matter. All you need is a bias, right? Which side market is there? So this, this gives you. Now, why do you need to use pivots? Now, because several times I have told this concept and I have also acknowledged that despite reading Secret of Pivot Boss for four or five times, for entire one year, I was incurring losses. It was not big money because I never implemented it. So this video is for those people who follow pivots, but maybe you don't know how to implement it. Then understand it. Watch this one. What is this? This is pivot, simple pivots, right? Standard pivots with daily high low, weekly high low, monthly high low, nothing else. That's all. I don't use weekly pivots. I don't use monthly pivots. Don't use them because it's wrong. If you're positional only, you need to use them. For intraday, use these pivots. Now, what do I tell in standard pivots? Anything above R1, what should you think you should think market is going up. Anything below R1, what should you think? You should think market will test CPR. In between you have previous day high, but, but the bias, you need to think if this breaks, it will go to CPR. If this holds good, above R1 is a breakout. Now what happens here above R1, boom. Now, this is the magic of pivots. The level will tell you where the smart money will enter when the breakout will happen. Now watch this. Day before yesterday, CPR broken, S1 broken, below S1, you have a sharp fall, below S1. Now, these things, there is no other indicator in the world which can tell you so accurately. And this is applicable to all instruments. Now, we are talking about what? Cambrilla pivots. Now, this is Cambrilla pivots for you, right? Let me remove this before telling you, because this is important. I keep telling this, you know this, but... I'm so disappointed that you people are not making money. Below S3, below S4 breakout. Now today, where did the market open? Above R4, it's taking support on R4. Above R4, Campbell pivot is a breakout. Now, if you just add simple 20 day moving average, what will you see? Let me remove this. This is blue line is 20 day moving average. Isn't it simple? And this is simple, right? Very simple. Yes, moving averages works only during trend. When moving average is flat, going up and down, market is sideways. Now this is where, I mean, this is a simple setup. Already I have made a video, the most simplest setup. Now in this video, now, 
most of you traders if you don't know how to take the trade uh, so you're confused whether you want to go long or not now i have introduced a triple moving average and, and there are a lot of moving averages but why i want to use this triple moving averages watch this ema1 ema2 ema3 these are ems 20 is sma the inputs are 5, 15, 34. Now, people who follow me, they know this, and already there is a video on this uh, only triple moving average on 5 and 15 minutes. I had given the condition. If the moving average is crossing on both on 5 and 15, then it is a buy for you, right? So you can go for buy. What I mean is when all this moving average crosses simultaneously, watch this. I'll just show you. So this gap up, it crossed. If you just want to use only triple moving average, gap up both on 5 and 15, crossover has happened, which means it's a buy. This is the uh, rules I told if you're using only 5, 15, 34 exponential moving averages. Now here I'm adding an additional 20 day moving average. So that is where the concept is slightly different, where you can take an edge uh, in the market while trading. Now, it does not matter which side market is. I want you to know candle up pivots and the standard pivots. But uh, on this candle up pivots, what happens is today market already crossover has happened. They are wide indicating uh, sharp momentum. But watch this. This purple line is five exponential moving average, five EMA. Now, five EMA is for extreme momentum although market went sideways today is expiry it is hugging the 5 ema and this 15 ema will act as support when the breaks 5 ema now when does your trade triggers the trade triggers when this 5 and 15 ema crosses above the 20 sma simple moving average remember a trade is triggered when 5 and 15 is crossed above 20 sma the black line is 34 EMA. It does not matter. I want these two to cross only the 20 SMA. Now, when the 20 SMA crosses above black and black stays below, which means the trend is strong. It's very strong. See, even in the last nth minute, market went sideways from here till here, but it did not break the black SMA. That's all the job of this 34 black sma if the 20 j 20 uh, dma goes above the black ema 34 ema that means trend is strong trade will trigger when 5 and 15 crosses above 20 right now come here now you know market is in uptrend so if if 5 ema is supporting then you should take a trade you don't get any small uh, stop loss other than this but remember, the soul is pivots. The whole and soul is pivots. Now, if you are afraid, oh, should I take a trade? It's going sideways. Should I take a trade? You should take a trade because it is above 20 SMA, above 15 and above 5 EMA. See here, 15 and 20 is acting as support till here, entire day. So you should take because your stop loss is that much minimal, understand. Now come here yesterday, now market opens above R3 is buying. But if you're following this SMA, see the SMA is all over the place. There is no trade. Yes, pivot is telling, but you're using this moving average crossover to take a trade. So discipline matters. Now, do you see any trade here? Going up and down, up and there's no trade. So if I just tell you about 20 is buying, below 20 is selling, so you might be confused here. Goes, comes down, goes, comes. So that is where this triple EMA will work in coordination with 20 and give you a proper buy and sell trade. See here? Okay, your trade was generated here in this position with this black, uh, big red candle because the 5 and 15 the purple and red came below 20 with this red candle now you go short with the next thing you go here and immediately you will be exiting when the red green candle comes and closes now what will be a stop loss you are entered somewhere here your stop loss is so minimal 
Now your next ray generates here because the red and purple crosses about 20 here with this green candle. Now, if you enter here with the stop loss below this 20 SMA, see here, you will have this much amount of money. And I'm not taking this trade. I'm talking only about SMA. Now, see here, the red and purple SMA crossed over here with this big candle, your trade will be entering here because it was a sharp reversal pin bar and this is the five EMA. And if you take here, your stop loss will be about this. No candle has closed here. You will be able to take the trade here. See here, it crossed over. It comes back. Your stop loss is not hit because if you're taking a trade here, this candle below is your stop loss. Yes, we came, went up and you will be scalping these points. Sometimes the trend will be very, very uh, sharp. I'm sorry, very, very narrow. So there is no trade. Now here, if you add the context of the pivot, above R3 is buying, above R3 is buying. With this setup, you will have big confidence here because all the moving averages are coming closer. Always understand when the moving averages converges and then diverges, you have maximum potential. This could have become another trendy day because it had broken this range. Unfortunately, it did not work, but this is how trading works. You don't have confirmation, but this will give you the confirmation. So this was the only proper trade here. Now this one would have hit your stop loss. This one probably with these two red candles, you would have exited. And then you would have entered here just to see you have very minimal money. So these, these trades are common, but watch here. R3, I'll make it big for you. This was yesterday. Do you see any trade here? You don't have big trade. Now remember when the purple and uh, red crossover means the red is five EMA, right? Five should be first and then, sorry, uh, the purple is the five EMA. Five should be first, the purple should be first and then followed by 15, that is the red one. Now, where do you see that? You will see this here. Now, if you know simple price action, this is almost when you combine this, a reversal pin bar. And then the black line is below, the blue line 20 EMA is above, and then the red line is 15 EMA, and then the purple is five EMA. See here, you would capture this big money. And once it falls below R3, you will see if there is any crossover. Yes, the purple and red crossed over below R3. What is R3? It's a selling area. With this, you have it. You can capture these three candle scalping money. Now, when it goes back, it crossed somewhere here, not here. Remember, moving averages are lagging indicators. Even with this big candle, if you follow the crossover, this candle gave the confirmation above. So here in the real time market, you will be able to uh, you know, practice it much better. You will understand what I'm telling. So it goes up, tries to break, comes below. And then watch here, where did you get your first symptom? Because even I was bullish here because this, this peak was taken out with this two big momentum candles. And once this uh, morning star, you know, this hanging man or morning star pattern was formed, this is a reversal doji that, that is called morning star or evening star, whatever you call. This is the, when you combine these three, it's a reversal doji. So there is something negative near the pivot, near the pivot. In Camrilla, above R3, R4 is breakout. R4 is breakout. Now this is R4, this is R3. Now see here, the red and purple crossed below the blue 20 SMA here with this candle. What is below R3 selling? Follow this, boom. It was so fast, it was even away from five EMA. You could have captured this big money. Understood, is it simple? See here, purple, red crossing over, market is sideways, still you will be able to scalp, you will never go wrong. 
big gap up hugging the purple market goes sideways you would be thinking it will go down when the market starts going sideways you'll be afraid early in the market but this purple sma will be a reassurance once you see this red candle you know it is going down you can capture this money but some of the beautiful trend breakout you can capture with this see here market breaks out comes down you know something is wrong below r4 watch your way where is crossing over it's crossing over here below r3 below r3 selling the market goes sideways you're afraid it goes about 20 also here but watch the black line with this red candle black line is going about 20 is below and five is below if you capture here even with this slow movement if you put stop loss here you can capture this much amount of money here 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 or one is to two this is exactly how you're supposed to trade see here even you want to take counter trade this will give you because the 5 and 15 are the uh, momentum candles i don't want you to use anything else other than this the pivot will be the guiding light see this is s4 s5 s6 above s6 buying above s5 buying above s4 buying above s3 is buying so when the market crosses over you will understand even in a downtrend okay yeah remember 515 crossing 20 is your trigger and i have shown you about 20 is buying and you're using this crossover only to you know uh, what do you call overcome your fear now, this is an additional confirmation, but if you're comfortable using only 20 uh, SMA, be my guess, that is a fantastic settings. But if you're using this, the trade is triggered when 5 and 50 moves about 20, you can capture this. Forget about rest of this is all no trade, no trade, no trade, no trade. Focus only on the crossover. Daily, you will get one trade. See here, you have two trades, one, two. No trade here, no trade here. See, you can get one when the market comes closer here, diverges, you can get one scalping. Then no trade, don't trade this. Wait for the crossover, wait for the proper crossover. You can take trade both sides and sometimes it will be a bumper like this. Can you take a trade here? Yes, market is coming, you are a price action, but you're not seeing any crossover. Once the market starts going about 20, see here? above r3 buy okay comes back takes up for near 20. follow 5 and 15 you have your money that's it when they starts converging you should know that okay it's time see it's converging 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 exit then once it again diverges enter so this is exactly how you need to trade hope this video is helpful do back testing you'll be surprised to see how many break uh breakouts you can capture using this even on a day, see here, daily you can capture. It's one of the fantastic tool which I'm using for last two years and definitely you can make use of it. Earlier I used to use only this uh, to overcome my fear. Now I use 20 day moving average, but sometimes in, in between work, if I want to spot a trade along with pivots, I use this, something like this, very tight range, boom, Okay, there's a divergence. I, I blindly enter. This will be my stop loss. I cannot get, this is in between pivot also. Very tough to spot the trade. So these average crossover will give you the scalping opportunity to make the trade and also you want to capture big, big moves. You'll be surprised. This works on all instruments. I mean, this works all instruments in the sense index, bank nifty and nifty. And uh, if you, and it works on Cambrilla pivots as well as floor pivots use it and please do share like comment and if you need more videos like this or, or any you want me to share any other indicators share your comment i'll bring out the video i'll customize it for you i'll back test and tell you whether it works or not thank you all have a good day